Hi, hello everyone, and welcome back to Daily Update by 1000 Day Challenge. This is day 805, so let's get things started. All right, so in terms of equity balance, no change in terms of that because there's no new trade entered for the four hour daily chart. But what we do very see surprisingly is yesterday, even though we started them out on the very low itself across the board, uh, we actually get down, but we actually bounce extremely hard to close the day itself, which is an extremely bullish candlestick itself. So this is generally not the norm, not expected, I would say. But bear in mind that today we actually bought a little bit, but um, not a little bit surprised because we did bounce off a little bit too strongly. So in terms of people selling off or taking profit, it will definitely be there. So across the board, we do see similar price action for both S&P 500, NASDAQ, ASHRK, Web, or even for Bitcoin itself. So overall, I still lean towards bearish bias, especially when we are still below 20 exponential mean average on the daily chart. So definitely it could be some sort of a bear rally itself. So nothing much has changed in that sense. So across the board, we are seeing that for ASHR and KWEB, same thing. As long as we are below 20 exponential mean average, we definitely still lean towards a much more strong kind of bearish bias in that sense. All right, and then finally for Bitcoin itself, it's a little bit surprising because it actually looks a little bit stronger compared to the rest of the market. So that's not necessarily a bad thing without a doubt, but bear in mind that as long as we still close below 50 simple moving average, I still do lean towards the further downside. But similarly over here, we did close above it, but we didn't maintain even at least one more day itself. So the good sign is that we did see strong volume and very nice green bullish hammer can take up a pattern, but we do not see a continuation of the way through there. It's not a clear confirmation that we want to see. So this to me is like a trigger or a signal that we could be reversing. Then we do need a confirmation to it in order for me to enter potential long or even a counter trend trade in this kind of scenario, scenario in that sense or even for long term investment in that sense. So right now I'm definitely staying clear of the market to wait for clear kind of signs of direction itself because ultimately in terms of the macro wise we're still leaning towards the downside but bearing in mind that it could be that it could have also been taken into account of how bad the market could have been and then things could have really priced in as well. So that's something definitely up in the air. And we could also have a much stronger bear ready in that sense before it continues further down in that sense. So yeah, anything is up in the air, but definitely things aren't clear as long as we are maintaining below certain moving averages, which definitely does show that selling pressure is stronger simply because moving averages is the accumulation of past prices closing in that sense. All right, with that said, I've come to the end of today. If you guys have any questions, feel free to drop out your comments below. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.